How's it going everybody? Uh, my name is Sopal and welcome to Photoshop Magic. And today we are going to continue with the a new project of creating a vertical panel effect of famous people. In this case, we are going to uh, focus on Liu Yifei. Liu Yifei, she's very famous in China and only recently that she has acclaimed popularity in the United States. Okay, so uh, as you can see by the thumbnail, Liu Yifei is the actress for the latest film by Disney for Mulan, uh, which I'll show you guys here. So yes, for Mulan, uh, action remake uh, for, from Disney uh, for 2020. And I heard that was going to go directly to the Disney Plus, so you can find that movie there. Okay, it's a live action Mulan. So as you can see in here, we have a before and we also have an after. So the, this is a, a panel effect. If you have not seen any of my other panel effects of, you know, different people um, that I have created, uh, this is one of them. So as you can see, this is the before and this is the after. Basically, we were able to make one of them and we make duplicates. And the background remains the same, as you can tell. There's nothing has been changed to the background. The background is just the way it is. Um, all this is is just the, the panel is covering the, the background, the the part that we can't see so we get to pick and choose uh, the section that we want to see and obviously we get to move it around to make sure that we can actually see the face okay so it's pretty cool so we'll try to match it I'm gonna do this live so again Liu Yifei she uh, is an American born actress singer and model so she'll you know she played in the Disney Mulan okay alright so before let's get started Okay, so yeah, so if you have not been to my channel before, so welcome. Uh, this channel focuses on the magical and creative power of Photoshop. It's a very powerful tool. It is designed for anybody who has no prior knowledge to get him or her excited and aspire to master Photoshop at the basic and intermediate level. So if you want to see more videos of basic and intermediate level of Photoshop, consider subscribing, like, and turn on that notification bell so you are notified a moment a video is posted. Okay, and as always, if the video is too long or detailed, you can always speed it up or skip to where it actually begins which is around like three to five minutes i know my introduction is a bit long but i feel that it's necessary to be able to give all this information up front especially with all the photos that that you know i use um so as a disclaimer also uh you know always just use websites that use license that state that are free to use share or modify even commercially you know for the content and do note that this video uh, may contain a few links in the near future in the description below Thank you very much for your support. All this means is that um, if you click on any of the links uh, for any of your product, I will see a, a small commission for connecting you, the buyer, with the seller that provides a special link uh, for this channel. Okay, this helps uh, support the channel and also allows for more amazing videos to be created. And everything I say or write in this channel is my own opinion, so please do so. so please do your own research before making any purchase decision. Okay, thank you very much for the love and support. And you can also find uh, the link below uh, through the uh, Photoshop magic through Facebook also with this link below it's also in the description and this is my license and attribution that we have here of the title you know I got the photo from Flickr where it's from and also the background image which I'm gonna be showing you guys right here okay so this is where I got the image from of uh, Liu Yufei from Flickr and if we look at the license, right, we right click on it and left click to show the license. It's attribution share alike, which means that we have we can you know share it all we want. Attribution, we must give credit to the appropriate person. Indicative changes were made, so I also provide indicated you know that changes were made. Um, yeah, so that's basically it. So the very first thing that you know you should do is obviously just download the image so you want to click on this down drop down arrow right here we go to the always try to get the original one it's the uh, the one usually with the highest quality so you want to left click on it and it comes down here click on the up arrow click on show in folder pick the right section for the folder what you want is you want to just name it so like I already named this one and you can see it right here Liu Yufei uh, because it's just some random numbers computer generated from the web uh, so it's always best to just name it so you actually know what it is. All right. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay. So the very first thing that we want to do, let me just show you guys the 
the thumbnail again. So we're going to try to replicate the thumbnail as much as possible because I already did one. But um, we might even just change the color a little bit depending on how I feel. So I, I feel like we should, you know, I'll, I'll try to keep the color the same. So we'll make the the shadow green and also the inner yellow. Okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll try that. So we are going to go to file. We are going to go to open. Find the right picture that we need to modify was Le Vufe right here. We're going to click open. Let me open up the other one too. Where it says completed, I'm going to hold uh, the control button down. I'm going to tap uh, this one too uh, to select both of them just to show you guys what it looks like, my thumbnail. Okay, so this is the original image and this one is the one that says complete. So, um, yeah, let me just show you how, how it's done, okay? Very first thing that you always want to do is give it a name. Where it says background right here, we are going to double click on it. We are going to give it a name. Liu Yifei. So Y-I-F-E-I. -I. Okay. We're going to click OK. And there you have it. So before we go any further, we actually want to make a copy of this particular background. To make a copy of it, make sure it's highlighted by left clicking on it once. And then you left click, hold and drag it down here to this plus sign with the square around it. Okay. So make sure it's that one and not the folder or the trash can right to the right of it. We're going to release. If done right, you should be able to see what it says Liu Yifei copy. Okay. So the next thing that we have to do right after that is we need to create a new fill or adjustment layer. Okay. So we got to make sure that the Liu Yifei copy is copied, is, is highlighted. And we come down here to this half moon and we click on solid color. And we want to choose white for this one, okay? So we're gonna click OK afterward. And if done right, you should be able to see where it says color fill, uh, color fill one, uh, with this chain in the middle. And now, uh, if you guys are not familiar with Photoshop, Photoshop is all about different layers, okay? So the reason why we are seeing this white background is because it is on the very top. That was because before we created this, um, this one was selected, so it went on top. Okay, so what we want now is we want the Levy Ufe copy on top. So what we're going to have to do, we're going to left click, hold and drag Levy Ufe copy and drag it until you see the turquoise line on the very top. And then we are going to release the left hold. Perfect, just like that. Okay, so the very next thing that we are going to do afterward is we are going to start creating our, our panel, okay? So before we do any of that, though, we have to make sure that this uh, forward and background color is is um, what we need it to be. So we want the, the foreground color to be black and the background to be white. If it's not already, you can if it's the opposite or switch, you can click on this uh, arrow right here to switch between the two. OK, and if if the color aren't black or white, um, you can actually change one of this. So let's just say this wasn't black. We wanted to change the blue. Okay, you left click, hold and drag to a blue area, you click OK, and now it's been changed to blue. But we want it to be black, okay? So we're going to come back down, change it back to black, and there you have it. And then we want to right click on the rectangle area right here, and there's many different options that we can choose from. The one that we want is called rectangle tool. Okay, we're going to left click on it to select. And then once it's highlighted, we, have, we can change the many different options up here. So we have the shape, we're going to keep it our shape, if not already. If you're at something else, please change the shape. And then the fill, we want to make it black. The stroke, we want it to not be selected, which is this one right here with the cross mark on it. And the size of it uh, should be around 10 or so, okay? So now that we have it, when we come down here, before we do anything, we want to make sure that um, the last uh, 15 to 20% is not going to be um, selected in there. So I want, I want between uh, 15 to 20 percent in here to, to be inside okay meaning that I'm gonna leave the the last 15 percent or 20 percent outside of here to not be selected the reason why is we want to be able to slant this a little bit to make it look nice and we don't want it to be out of frame and we can also just you know change as we go along also so I kind of think that this is a little bit small but before we do anything though um, while the cursor is inside of this black box, black rectangle, we can either right click on it and click on free transform path, or there is a shortcut which is a lot easier. 
and we are going to be using that a lot uh, throughout the whole project so it is good to know so the tool that we want is it's called a control T okay we're gonna hold the control button down CTRL bottom left of the keyboard and we're gonna tap T and then we're gonna lose both as you can see it changes this whole thing to you know many different small squares which means that if I hover above any of these corners right here with the double arrows on any of these corners with the latest Photoshop it will automatically um, keep it proportional okay so I'm gonna left click hold and drag to keep it a little bit bigger just like so and if I'm in the center with this small cursor right here we can actually left click hold and drag and move it around okay so obviously we want it to be somewhere around here just to begin with okay and if we hover anywhere outside of these corners um, you will see this double uh, arrows right here bend double double bend arrows so what we can do we can left click hold and drag and I'm gonna move backward to, or to the right I, I mean and we can just play around with it too just like so you know so you can get used to it and it doesn't really matter you know the beauty of Photoshop is that you do get the freedom to to do whatever you want to do to make it creative make it your own make it unique right I'm pretty sure your picture is gonna be a little bit different it's not gonna be the exact one that I'm using okay it might be similar because uh, there are so many different photos out there that you can use this is just the many different techniques to be able to modify our photos right so and we can actually just move it around too to just you know how we'll be like I kinda like it the way it is right now but I wanted to make it a little bit bigger we're gonna left click hold and drag this section right here and there you go it's a little bit bigger and now we're gonna click save and once we click save we are going to see this option right here it says this operation will turn a live shape into a regular path continue so yes we want to continue okay so uh, like all my other videos I have always recommended that we say will work as we go along especially during the beginning and especially once we have gotten a lot of work done I think we have gotten quite a bit done and we don't want to lose our work because life is unexpected okay, especially while using a software a powerful software like Photoshop is prone to freeze up sometimes it could be the computer's fault it could be the program's fault or it could be like you have too many different layers um, an earthquake could be happening right now a natural disaster life just goes on and on with so many different problems right so we just want to minimize the amount of problems that we have by just saving it okay so we are going to go to file and we are going to click on save okay you can see on the right hand side it says control s it is a shortcut to save okay so i'm going to show you guys a shortcut to save so we're going to hold the control button down the bottom left and we're going to tap s there you go so shortcuts just makes everything a lot easier and a lot faster as you get better so we're going to click save this computer the first file that we want to save it as is going to be you know uh, the photoshop format and we want to make sure it's the right location so just remember if it's not already the right location pick the location first before changing the name so I already like this area I, I want to save it in this particular folder so we're just gonna stay stay there we put Libby Faye first panel just like so first panel uh, 2 the reason why I put 2 is because we already have first panel up here okay or else it's gonna it's gonna ask us to replace it or something which I don't want to all right we're gonna click Save and then we're gonna click OK sweet okay so the next thing that we want to do is we want to uh, bring up the Libby Ufe copy to be on top of the rectangle one by left clicking holding drag until I see the the turquoise bar on top and then we're gonna release so now I see the Libby Ufe on top and the rectangle is in the background which you can't see anymore I said it before um, Photoshop's all, all about layers and the top one is the one that you get to see okay so this next one is super important that we have to do so now that the live UFA copy is, is highlighted we want to right click on it and we want to click on create a clipping mask okay left click on it and as you can see basically what that did was it was able to allow us to see the background image through the shape that we have uh, in the back okay which was the rectangle and it looks pretty nice right so now now that we have that um, the next thing that we want to do 
is obviously we're you know this is the major one also we want to save our work as we go along okay every few minutes or so let's just save our work we're going to hold the control and tap s it takes about one to two seconds and over time it will become mus muscle memory okay so control s you can use it for almost every software out there even microsoft word is also control s that's why i learned c control s from it's like super easy so the next thing is we want to be able to make modification to the rectangle itself so we want to left click on it once to make sure it's highlighted and because uh, as you can see it looks very plain we want to be able to make it very popping so once it's highlighted we want to click on this fx right here and then we'll click on blending options within there if you want to click on drop shadow when you click on anywhere in here don't click on here if you click on anywhere in the center right here it will automatically put a check mark in there and it will remember your last color that you picked you, you chose which was in my case was green so we were to come back down to the original thumbnail right here as you can see the shadow the shadow was the green section here and we also have an inner stroke which is yellow okay so I'm gonna try to keep it the same same as here but we can make it a little bit different too just for fun okay so distance is you know how far it is uh, and if it's no distance at all it's gonna be the four size corners the same and angle is, is from what angle is from from the Sun you can't really tell that it got changed the reason why is because the distance is zero if I were to change the distance a little bit if I remove the angle around it's casting a shadow so in this case the Sun is facing it's in the upper left hand corner facing that way casting a shadow okay so I kind of like it uh, the distance be zero and spread it out a little bit too so it has enough space to be able to um, the size make it the size a little bit bigger so when we do at that stroke we can actually see the stroke okay so we are going to go to stroke now and it's yellow so as you can see it, it got changed to yellow so we can you know make it bigger or smaller we don't want it to be too big we want it just just enough it's just like so and the other one too now that we have the stroke um, I kind of think I want the the spread to be a little bit less so it's this will allow us to be able to see the picture a lot better in the background okay so now we're gonna click OK perfect and we're gonna save it again control s okay now it's the most exciting part okay this is we're almost getting there so what we have to do right now is you want to be able to group the leave you fade copy with the rectangle okay so all I'm doing is I'm left clicking one of them just to show you what it is and once one of them is highlighted and clicked on we want to be able to select the other one but if you were to click on the second one without doing anything else it's going to deselect the first one and we want to select both of them okay so to do that since one of them is already selected I am going to hold the control button down CTRL and I'm going to tap the left arrow and now they're both selected because I was holding the control button down so now that they're both selected to group them we're going to go to layer we're going to do new and we are going to group from layers okay and we're going to left click on it and we are going to give it a name okay in this case I think it's very appropriate we just put in panel because it is uh, we're going to click okay and as you can see they both got grouped into a folder called panel so if we were to expand this out we will be able to see Libby Fay copy and rectangle and all the different effects that we have on it, which is this one. Okay? But we don't want to make any changes to the original panel, which is this one right here, which is that folder right there. So we want to be able to make a second copy of this one so we can actually move it around to make the picture looks nice. Okay? So to be able to do that, to make a copy of it, we make sure it's highlighted. We're going to left click, hold, and drag it to the plus with the square around it. And it will say panel copy lay, uh, folder. Okay? So now we are going to expand it out by clicking on this arrow right here, come back down to rectangle, and then we have to go to the move tool. And I know for the latest version of Photoshop, uh, after you click on the move tool, you hold the control button down and you do the free transform, which is T. So hold the control button down, tap T, and then you will see this section right here. Okay, and if I left click, hold and drag it, it's a duplicate of this back one that we just copied from, but it's only the rectangle which means that we are not affecting the background at all so if I were I'm left clicking holding and dragging right now and just to show you how amazing this effect is 
and it's almost as if we're looking through a window of you know a photograph in the background so I can just leave it like this if I want to even though it's continuous right here her, her arm is cut off we don't want that right but just to show you how amazing it looks all right and from there um, if you just hover around it just like so with the double arrows bending you can actually left click hold and drag again you're moving to the left moving to the right spin it around just to make it fun just like so you know I can do it like this yeah I think this looks pretty nice too right I mean it doesn't look like a thumbnail but like yeah so you know it's Photoshop you gotta make it unique uniquely yours right you can just make it a bit smaller just like that left click hold and drag I kinda like it facing the, the same direction so it'll, you know it looks kinda continuous in a way just like so okay and once you're done and you're happy with the way it looks you're gonna click on this check mark right here very important that you check on that check mark and then we are going to repeat that okay so we are going to uh, shrink the panel copy and we are going to to make a duplicate again by left click hold and drag it to this plus with the square around it we are going to expand it click on the rectangle and then go to the move tool and then after the move tool don't make sure you're not clicking on anything and you go directly to the keyboard control T and this will pop up again and you can actually move it around okay so I have always said this in my other videos too um, you just want to make sure that you know the subject space is not um, blocked by these uh, borders right here or all these lines or else it won't look as nice but we want it to be continuous as much as possible right so just like so I, I kinda like this the way it looks right now so it looks like we're cutting part of her face out but when we add on the next panel it's gonna be good enough to be able to cover the whole thing okay so I like it the way it is right now it's continuous and that's what we want right we want to check on this check mark right here and right now is a good time to save also we're going to hold the control s and we are going to come back over here shrink it uh, left click hold and drag to this plus sign with a square around it expand click on the rectangle and then go to the move tool control t and there we are okay so this one i'm gonna hover above it like so until I see the double arrows bending arrows and we're gonna left click hold and drag we're just gonna this one we're gonna focus on the face okay so and we can even expand a little bit more too so if I were to left click hold and drag right here even though it goes out of border a little bit it will cover her whole face and which is what we want okay just like so because the last thing you want is for it to not look good there you go I think that looks nice but we're missing part of our armor here which I don't like so we're gonna left I'm gonna move it out just like so perfect so now her arm is continuous also look at that that looks pretty amazing okay so I would rather have you know some of these panels you know go out of the picture and still see your face than not okay and I know it looks a little bit different than than this one because like I said, I'm doing this live and uh, this is, you know, obviously I was just moving around to make it look as good as possible to make it you know, kind of matching. And this actually looks pretty good too. We can still see all of her face. Okay. And then her hair. All right. Just like so. So now we are going to do the one last panel. We're going to shrink it. Left click, hold and drag down here. And then expand. And then rectangle. Move tool. Control T. And here we have it. So this one I'm going to just make it a bit smaller. Just like so. And we don't want to cover her face. Uh, as distractless as possible. Perfect. And I'm going to click on the check mark. So even though this did a pretty good job of, of that section right there and it didn't cover her face. Um, I kind of want to move it out a little bit. Oops. Control Z. And if you make any kind of mistake, you can hold the control button down, tap Z. You made a mistake right there. Okay. Control T. Oops. Okay. Let's try it one more time. Control T. There we go. 
So, just like so. I think that looks pretty nice. Make it a bit smaller. I think this one, if we make it smaller, it actually looks a lot nicer. Perfect. And I think if, if we were to make the, I am going to go back to uh, Piano Copy 3, which is that one right there. I'm going to resize it to make it even bigger because I think that will make the, the whole thing a lot better. Okay, there we go. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger so her hair doesn't get um, chopped off and then this doesn't get in the way. Okay, so we're going to check mark with it and we're going to go back to this latest one, which is this one right here. Click on right there, control T. And then if I move this out a little bit, her hair is still intact. And now this this uh, green shadow does not affect her face at all, which I think looks a lot more pleasing. There you go, look at that. That looks pretty nice, right? And now we actually just want to save our work. That's our final work, so we're going to go to file. We're going to go to save as. And as I have always said in my other videos, save as is totally different than save. It does not affect the original save at all. It's its own separate file with any location you want, any name that you want, and even for the same project, you can have different effects and have different outcomes. Okay, so we're gonna go right here. Uh, the first one you want to just keep it the same. You want to put all panels, all panels, complete it, and so yeah, all panels complete. Okay, so we're gonna click save because it's a little bit different than the other one gonna to go to file again we're gonna click save as but this time we are going to save it as a JPEG just like so click save and now let me show you guys of where we save the items okay so the buffet so all panels just like so right here this is the one that we just did and look how amazing that looks that looks really amazing. Okay, so now once I spin have a save as, I can actually just, you know, play around with it even more. So let's just say that I wanted to change the color of this last one right here, okay? Just for fun, um, we are going to, uh, now that the rectangle is selected on this panel number four, panel copy four, which is this one right here, okay, we are going to click on FX, we go to blend options. And then we can actually change the color. So we go to drop shadow, change this one to, I don't know, uh, purple, just to make it very distinct. And now if I move this out, there you go, it's been changed to purple. Okay, and we go to stroke, change the color, we can actually change it to blue. And there you go. I think that looks pretty pretty badass too, right? So, um, yeah. And we could even change uh, this other color to make it kind of like 3 to 2 instead of 4 to 1. I think 3 to 2 looks kind of nice too. Um, so we are going to, so that, that's number 3, so we're going to go to 3, rectangle, go to FX, blend options, we can go to drop shadow, we can change it to purple, just like so, and then stroke, we can change stroke to blue, and there you have it, look at that, and that looks pretty amazing. Okay, so I really like it. So what we're going to do, we're going to go to File. We're going to go to Save As, which again, does not affect the other save that, save As that we just did or the original save. We're going to go to File. We're going to complete it. We're going to say 2. We're going to click Save. Click OK. And now we're going to save the format to be a different format. We're going to here. We're going to go to JPEG, just like so. And click OK. So when we go back to the original one, complete it too you will be able to see there you have it okay all right as always thank you for tagging along and i hope you learned something new and be able to learn how to do the panel effects and if you have any questions at all feel free to comment below and if i have time i will try to get to your comment and as always you can find me on on facebook also so and if you haven't yet uh, please smash that uh, like button so this will be suggested to more people for the YouTube algorithm. And as always, I hope you have an amazing day.